forging cyber, forging cyber security experts. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. Now, our free preview of Secure Ninja's online Sensei series has generated such a positive reaction that we've decided to give away every single module from this Cyber Kung Fu course, featuring Larry Greenblatt, Tom Upjagrove, and me. If you like what you see and would like to experience a Secure Ninja training course in person at any of our training locations, we have some amazing time-sensitive specials for you. Just visit secureninja.com specials for all of the do not miss deals. And now here is your free module from Cyber Kung Fu for the Certified Ethical Hacker version 8. Enjoy! Hi, welcome to Module 9, Social Engineering. So Alicia, we're going to do a little different twist on this. Um, we're going to use a tool called Social Engineering Toolkit. Uh, we're going to create, we're going to clone a website and then get someone, form an email, send that email off to someone, get them to click and, and link into it, see if we can capture their username and password when they, when they actually log into this uh, website. But as a twist on it, because mobile devices are so uh, popular now, and that's a new inclusion in uh, CEH version 8, I think we should do it on a mobile device. Okay. And now, I happen to have a, um, a version of Android, the Ice Cream Sandwich VM, up and running here. So we're going we're gonna to run that and try that on that. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is uh, get our, our IP addresses. Okay. Uh, because we're going to broad, broadcast this thing on the, um, I think if you, if you zoom that up one time, that should do it. All right, so what do we uh, type in to, to find out our, um, our IP address? We type ifconfig. Great. All right, so uh, scroll up. All right, so we can see here that in, we have 192.168.56.103, which is our host-only network. Mm -hmm. And usually that's what we're working on when we're playing with these labs. But we're going to broadcast out on the wireless network that we're, we're working with. Okay, so come on down to ETH1. And that is another adapter, which is out on that 192.168.2.58. So that's going to be the important one that we're going to set up uh, our social engineering toolkit. All right, so you can you can uh, uh, get down to the bottom there, and I want you to type uh, SE hyphen toolkit, and that should bring up the social engineering toolkit. Great, and this thing is just like one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So one, pick pick the um, social engineering attacks. Great. Two website attack vectors. Gosh, some of these are Tanner, so interesting. Right. Three, uh, the credential harvester attack method. Good. And we're going to actually clone a website. Okay, so hit two. Okay, now it's asking for the IP address that we want to uh, broadcast out. So we're going to use that wireless, that 192.168.2.58. Okay, so type that right in there. .2.58. Right, hit enter. Okay, and the URL to clone, let's do Facebook. Why not? Okay, so www.facebook.com. Great. And it takes a little bit, but now it's actually kind of broadcasting out there. Okay, so let me back in the driver's seat here so I can pull up our, our, our ice cream sandwich. Isn't that kind of cool? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, um, so but, but before I do that, let's, uh, let's get a little crazier. Okay, so back in my... Engineering Toolkit. Okay. What I'd like to do is actually form a, um, an email. Okay. Obfuscate the um, email address so, and send that to somebody so that when they get it, it's going to say something like, uh, check out my new motorcycle. Mm -hmm. okay. But actually, when they click on that, it's going to take them to, uh, take them to the Facebook login and hopefully we can grab their username and password when they do that. Okay. So. Um, what we need to do is create an email. So I'm pretty live. So I'm going to use one of my uh, one of my kind of company emails. Great. So we're going to compose 
an email to my buddy Jimmy. In fact, there he is there. And so here's my, uh, my signature if you need it. And, um, right, we get down to the little plus sign here, we're going to create a uh, hyperlink. Okay. It's nice that um, Gmail does this for us. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, out my new motor cycle, right? But in here, we're going to put the the um, IP address of uh, the social engineering toolkit, right? So mm -hmm. what was that? One nine two dot one six eight dot two dot five eight, right? Great. So there it is. We're going to send it off to Jimmy. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, we go back to our ice cream sandwich, our Android, and we open up the browser. Okay. And uh, it's kind of looks like it's already kind of linked, logged in here. Okay. So there's actually the email from Greenleaf Tech that's arrived already. And hence, uh, it says, check out my new motorcycle. I'm going to click on it. Hence, up comes my uh, Facebook login. Oh, ah, well, yeah. of course, because it's on Facebook. So let's go um, uh, Jimmy007, right, at uh, gmail.com. That's Jimmy's uh, login. And here's Jimmy's secret um, password. You didn't see that, right? We did. So Jimmy's going to log in. <laughs> oh, do I want to remember that? No. Okay. Now, in this case, um, Jimmy might not. Jimmy might not have a real login. So we had ordinarily. I don't think Jimmy has an actual Facebook account. Mm -hmm. um, but if I did use actual my, my account or your account, mm -hmm. okay, um, I'll bet you our tool back here actually picked it up. So here. Um, the attempt to log in was here, and if we look down at this point, uh, we'll see that, um, <laughs> I like how it's called credential harvester instead of password stealer. <laughs> so down here says email, jimmy007, um, gmail.com. Okay, and the password is? Goldfinger. Goldfinger, of course. Got it. Of course. Yeah. Uh, and it will actually give you a kind of report, but I'm going to kind of leave that up, okay, because let's have to take it a step further. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, that's an Android, but will this thing work uh, in the real world? Uh, so, I just got a new um, uh, Samsung S4, okay, so it's kind of latest and greatest phone. How convenient. And uh, so, let's see if we can actually uh, do the same thing on my phone. Okay, so hence, let's pull up a uh, web browser. Let's go to uh, an email login. And I just happen to have the same email. Jimmy's kind of logged in on this phone here. And so there's the link again. Let me kind of roll it this way so we got a little better, a little bigger picture. There's the check on, uh, check out my new motorcycle. There's the Facebook login again. Yeah. So, um, let's let Jimmy log in there. Now, this is kind of interesting here. So, we'll, we actually know the uh, password, don't we? So, go. <laughs> What's crazy here is on the phone because I've already been logged into Facebook. It actually took me to my login and, and stuff that's kind of going on at Facebook now. So I think what I'm kind of like uh, falling on really here is um, a, uh, another exploit that's waiting to happen. 
uh, which could be a way of uh, grabbing somebody's previous session. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what's crazy here is, um, and we'll kind of click out of there. Okay, let's try it on your phone. Now, I understand you have like a iPhone five. I do. Okay, okay do so let's uh, let's get that. Okay? In white. Okay, okay, so bring it up. Let's get a website up. Web browser. Okay. Here, wow, check this out. So this is, uh, is this your homepage here? CEA Secure Ninja, Ninja. I love that, yeah. I love that, okay. Same. All right, so what we're gonna do is rather than log in to email and click the link, let's just make sure that we can uh, make a connection here. So I'm going all the way back here okay. and just put in the IP address. What was that? 2.58, right? Yes, sir. 5, 8, go. And there we have our login, okay? And if I put in, uh, Alicia and, um, and go, it's trying to log in. I wonder if it's going to do the same thing. You notice up here, though, okay, um, that what happened in email was Alicia, and what was the uh, password? Fun time. Ooh. <laughs> so you typed that in there. I typed that in there, as right? As the victim. Now, and it just what's happened? I didn't. Happened. We didn't hit your page here, okay? So uh, your phone's not keeping your your password, you know, in cache, right. which is good. That's smart, okay? So there you have it. We did it on an Android. We did it on my new S4, sure and did. we actually did it on your iPhone 5. Okay, so uh, this is actually pretty much a real world scenario. Right. They're very easy to trick somebody into uh, following that link, um, which uh, brings up just uh, kind of a suggestion I try to train everybody on and say, really watch the links, watch the rollovers, you know, watch what the URL is, you know, mm -hmm. because I would say everybody's getting uh, emails of, you know, numbers of times a day, you know, that you slip through the spam filters, but still have that kind of uh, malformed um, hyperlink in there. Right. Okay. So basically people should be very careful not to log into anything that comes from it. Yeah, I think so. I think that's, that's very good advice. Yeah. That sounds okay. good. And there you have it. Okay. Social engineering okay, on mobile devices. Now we hope you've enjoyed this free module, but there's lots more. The Cyber Kung Fu course has 29 videos in all and will really help build you a solid understanding of the CEH version 8 curriculum. Don't forget, if you prefer to attend one of the Secure Ninja's courses in person at any of our training locations, you really need to visit secureninja.com slash specials for some amazing discounts and other deals. I'm Alicia Webb. Happy training. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.